The Illyrians were a group of Indo-European tribes who inhabited the Western Balkans and Eastern Adriatic coast from the Late Bronze Age until the Roman conquest in the 1st century before the Common Era. Known for their warrior culture, seafaring skills and rich material culture, the Illyrians were an influential people in the ancient Mediterranean. Illyrians inhabited a region known for its mountainous terrain, encompassing parts of the Western Balkans and Eastern Adriatic coast. This area provided natural defenses, while proximity to the Adriatic allowed for seafaring and trade with the Mediterranean world. Notable Illyrian centers included the city-states of Skodra, which is modern-day Škoder in Albania, Daursan in Bosnia and Herzegovina, as well as the fortified hilltop settlements known as Apida. The Illyrians had contacts with the Celts and the Greeks, but their linguistic ancestors were most likely a remote branch of Indo-Europeans stemming from the Yamna culture of Russia. The Illyrian tribes became prominent in the Balkans around 12 centuries before the Common Era and maintained a distinct cultural identity until the Roman conquest. Their society reached its peak between the 8th and 3rd centuries before the Common Era, marked by significant trade and military conflicts, particularly with the Greeks and later the Romans. The Romans, drawn to the Adriatic for its strategic importance, eventually conquered the Illyrians in a series of campaigns by 2nd century before the Common Era, incorporating their territories into the Roman Empire. The Illyrian society was tribal, with numerous clans for extended families forming the basis of their social structure. Chiefs or kings ruled these tribes, and power often resided with the warrior elite. The role of women in Illyrian society was relatively prominent compared to other ancient cultures. Some tribes even had female leaders or queens, such as the Teuta of the Ardi tribe. Social organization was hierarchical, with warriors at the top followed by artisans, traders and farmers. The Roman conquest largely absorbed Illyrian culture, but elements persisted, influencing later Balkan societies. Many modern Balkan peoples, especially the Albanians, consider the Illyrians among their ancestors. For this video, I gathered the raw genomes of 18 Illyrians from 8th to 2nd century before the Common Era and ran those DNA samples from my trade predictor tool for DNA analysis. The link to purchase my trade predictor will be in the description of the video, and the link to purchase the 18 raw genomes in 23andMe format will also be in the description. The most common predicted phenotype among the 18 samples was Alpinid, and one sample was scoring an exotic Amerindian phenotype. The sample that scored a Amerindian phenotype carried East Asian EZAR variants, and other morphological variants common in East Eurasians. Nordic phenotypes were also present among the samples, as two samples scored Corded, one sample scored Holstad, and two samples scored Norid phenotypes. Here is a morph of the average phenotype all of these included. The most common eye color was brown, but other eye colors like hazel, blue, dark brown, and green were also found. No sample scored blue eyes on Amber Center. The most common hair color was dark brown followed by black and dark blonde. These are the only hair colors present. No sample scored light blonde, red, or light brown hair. The most common predicted skin color was olive, but there were samples that scored light brown, white, and palest skin tone as well. The most common predicted hair texture was curly, followed by straight and wavy, and one sample was predicted to have a kinky hair texture. Greek nose shape was slightly more common than snub nose shape among the 18 samples I gathered. The samples had a very strong predisposition to male pattern hair loss and an average predisposition to taller height. Warrior and warrior phenotypes were roughly equally common among the 18 samples, but the warrior phenotype was slightly more common, leading to higher dopamine levels and poorer response to stress. The Illyrians were predisposed to a few of availability of D2 receptors, which leads to higher propensity for no-go learning and lower odds of thought disorders, such as schizophrenia or bipolar 1. Speaking of bipolar 1, the samples had a roughly average predisposition to bipolar 1. The samples had a low predisposition to ADHD and a low predisposition to depression. The samples had an average predisposition to Alzheimer's, 
and a very strong predisposition to autism. Nine samples out of 18 were predicted to be lactase persistent. The samples had a predisposition to an average level of empathy on the basis of OXTR genotypes. The samples had roughly average odds of cardiovascular issues, which includes heart attacks, aneurysms, and strokes. The samples had a rather high predisposition to type 2 diabetes and a strong predisposition to higher levels of glucose, which also leads to higher odds of metabolic type 2 diabetes. The samples were quite unathletic, with Sprinter ACT and 3 R577X variants being less common among them than in the European average. The samples had a strong predisposition to higher odds of epithelial cancer based on 8Q24 genotypes. 5 of the 18 samples carried risk variants for hemoglobin E disease, which is a rather average rate, as I've noticed with the studies I've done prior. The samples had a low predisposition to kidney stones. The samples had a very low predisposition to gout, scoring this way seems to be a typical tendency for Europeans. The samples had an average predisposition to age-related macular degeneration. The samples had a high predisposition to epilepsy. The samples had an average predisposition to autoimmune disease based on HLA genotypes, and only two of them carried HLA DRB1 risk variants for multiple sclerosis, something that clearly sets them apart from Northern Europeans, among whom those risk variants are much more frequent. However, the samples did have a high predisposition to another autoimmune condition, that is type 1 diabetes. This condition is also very prevalent in Europeans. The samples had a very strong predisposition to alcohol dependence. The Illyrian samples had a predisposition to lower odds of obesity, and one of the 18 samples possibly had hemochromatosis on the basis of his predicted iron levels. The samples were predisposed to shorter telomere lengths, which leads to shorter biological lifespan. The samples had a predisposition to very high LDL cholesterol levels, which is bad for cardiovascular health. The samples had roughly average odds of syncope overall. The most common blood types among the 18 Illyrian samples were O and A, although B and AB were also present. Thank you for watching this video until the end, make sure you like and share if you enjoyed it.